All right, we're gonna show you how to use your bike man uh, Yamaha slash Articat with the Yamaha engine uh, flash device. So first off, you're gonna need the ECU out of your machine. It'd be the device that looks like this. And on the uh, upper edge of that, you'll have a, a, a number. This one here is 8KJ-00. Uh, zero, zero. So we're gonna find a file that matches that. So write that down and we'll go from there. So you'll have a connector like so. And we wanna put that into the connector on the right side. Push it into clips. Now, you'll see here, we also have uh, these two clipped together. So, we can show you right here. So, these two are clipped together. And then we have a battery that has the terminals going to it. And then down here, we will plug in the USB cord. Uh, this is my PC. You'll see it right down here. We got a blue connector with USB. We plug that in and we're good to go there. So now we're going to show you what to do with these files. It's not too bad. Pretty uh, painstakingly free process. And uh, first thing we're going to want to do is uh, this Articat 9000.exe. Uh, double click that, open it up. And you will get a box like so uh, with your sign on information popped up on your screen right here, this guy. And this uh, particular one is BMP18101. And then we put in the password. And then I'll show you what pops up on the device here. So uh, this is an important step, the next step here. So see this little models box right here. Uh, we're not talking about supermodels. These are for which ECU model we're going to use. So we have two options on this particular device. Yours may have more, but we want to look, find the one that matches uh, what your ECU says. Uh, this particular ECU says 8KJ-00. So since this one here says 8KJ-00, we're going to select that. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, program. So we click program. And I'll show you what the box says. It says this is an unlicensed model. Consume credits to flash. So once you connect and consume your credit, uh, unless you're a dealer of ours, you only have one credit. So you can only flash the one ECU. And I'll explain a little bit more on that in a little bit here. So it says uh, by clicking OK, credits will be consumed from your account. Interrupting this flash process will require relicensing this device. Yes, we want to continue. So we clicked OK. So now we're going to want to, uh, in our flash, uh, flash drive, we have a models folder. So we want to go inside of that models folder, and these are our uh, tune files. So you'll say, you see, all these different uh, versions here, right? So the ones that are 8KJ00, uh, that's the ones that we're gonna wanna use for this ECU. We only wanna use those. Uh, 8KJ00 just so happens to be a 1718 uh, Thundercat 9000 or Yamaha Sidewinder. So you'll see we have uh, four different options in here that are 8KJ00. Uh, the first one doesn't have any notation to it. Uh, I might change that. Yours might may say stock on there, just so you know. Uh, but and then we have a 245.91 octane, a 260.94 octane, and a 280.110 octane. 
Now it's very important that you choose uh, the correct file for the amount of octane you're going to run. Uh, if you're running 91 octane, your 245 flash is going to be the, the best flash for you. If, if you're running, uh, if you were to run the 260, uh, it's not a good idea because you want to make sure you have enough octane for your flash because the first thing the ECU does to try to save your engine if it senses detonation is it adds fuel. Now if we're running a 260 flash, we're at the edge of the injector, it can't add fuel. Uh, so we want to make sure we're at the 245. The 245 has a, a huge cushion uh, of fuel, so we're not at the edge of the injector. So we can definitely have plenty of extra fuel to, to save your engine. So uh, in most situations, I would recommend people running the 245. Uh, if you know for sure you have uh, 94 octane or say you have 91 octane and you mix it uh, some 110 in with it uh, to make sure you're good, run that 260 tune or if you're running straight 110 you can run the 280 flash so let's uh let's select the 245 tune right here oh sorry the 245 tune and it'll say that it's flashing so it's uh, pretty, pretty free. You want to make sure you don't disconnect power, disrupt your uh, USB cord during this time because uh, if we interrupt the flash, you can break your ECU. So we definitely do not want to do that. If anybody's wondering where their ECU is located, right up in the uh, front nose cone of your machine, uh, just behind the left front shock tower. So on the other side, right behind your shock, on, on the clutch side is where you'll find your ACU. If you uh, pull out your, your intake tube, you can get to it fairly easy. And it's held in by a rubber bungee. Takes a little bit for it to go through, but the neat thing is with this, now we can switch back and forth uh, to tunes. And since we already licensed the, the ECU by putting the first flash in, uh, we don't have to redo that. So. So this ECU has already been flashed, and it says flash complete. Okay, that's a good good indicator. So if we want to put a different tune in today, we can go say we want to go to the 94 octane. We've already consumed a credit, and this ECU is licensed, so now we can choose back and forth at will. We can go back to stock. We can go up to the 110 octane, we can go up to 94, you know, whatever the day's fuel allows, that's what we can go to. So now we can go into a, a 94 octane tune. And it'll flash right in there. And it takes about a minute and a half to two minutes for it to go in. And I can uh, actually here, we'll go like this. We'll pull up some dyno graphs so you can see what the different tunes I actually give you for power. Here you go. Uh, 245 flash is in the gold here. Uh, very respectable flash. Uh, the 240 is what I run on uh, my machine most days. The 260 has a little bit more uh, uh, girth to it. And then the 110 octane makes uh, good power. We actually have that up a little bit from here, so it's about 280 horse. So uh, that's the the whole thing. Uh, this other flash has gone in the whole way. So, hope you enjoyed. Have fun flashing. And remember, uh, do not disconnect the device while you're, while you're mid-flash. So, if you have any questions, send me an email.
joey at bikemanperformance.com. Check out all our products at bikemanperformance.com.